Hi everyone, I'm Renee with Steadfast Fitness. Today we're going to do a total body workout. We're going to do 12 exercises with two sets. Okay, let's start with the warm up. Just go ahead and circle one arm back. Keep it breathing, moving through the full range of motion of the shoulder. Just going through these exercises just to open up, get that body ready for work and for resistance. Let's go ahead and take it forward. Keeping it breathing. Yeah, and I say that a lot, but people like to hold their breath, so we've got to keep that breath going. We've got to keep control. And let's take it to the other side, going back. All right, here we go. Really relax through the upper body. Relax through the neck. Relax really through the whole body, but you want to keep good control. So go ahead and take that arm forward. I'm staying stable in my feet. You can, you'll notice my knees bending a little bit. I want to be fluid. I don't want to lock any joint out. Three, two, and one. We're going to swing with both arms up and down. And I'm going to move a little bit faster. Warm up skier swings, and I'm just bending back and lifting up. You certainly don't have to go up all the way. We're just letting those arms warm up, letting them be loose, and including the legs, legs, back, hips. I'm sitting back onto the heels. I'm not pushing my knees forward. There's certainly none of that going on. Let's go ahead and open up wide. A little bit wider if you weren't already. And then we're gonna just add a tap here. And let me speed it up a little bit more, getting out of that rhythm, just swing. Just a tiny bit more. Bending and lifting, bending and lifting. Yep, there we go. Let's go for four more, wherever you are. Three, two, one, and go ahead and hold the arms up and let's pull down and pull those knees up. So pulling the arms down, pulling the knees up. You certainly, again, don't have to go all the way up. Just do what you can. Just so, oh, warming up that body. Getting it always ready for work. Seeing what joints are tight. And the oiling them up again. Keep the knees going and go ahead and open up your arms wide. We're going to start some rotations. If you're not warmed up enough for those rotations, please just stay here. All right, so your arms are wide. We're going to rotate. Yeah, rotate towards the knee, towards the knee, keeping those arms wide. Opening up that back, warming up that back. We've got some rotational work coming up. So we want to make sure we're nice and warm. And again, I'm going to provide you options. Some people are not ready for that yet. But maybe you are. Relax, and then go ahead and kick it out. So we're gonna lift the leg, lift it. So it's not really a bend and kick, it's a, it's a, it's a leg lift. We're going into sort of like a, a, a soldier march. There we go. Moving on through. And we can certainly add those twists to this, but I'm not going to do that today. Here's four more. Three, two, and one. And hold the legs and let's just circle through the next. There we go. Again, continuing to breathe. And then hold it forward and rotate the other leg. Let's go for four more. Three, yes, and two, and one, and relax it. Shake it out. You can certainly go through that again if you need to. I'm gonna grab my five pound weights. You'll need light weights, whether you can have a little bit heavier or not. We're gonna do what's called an iron cross, firing up those, uh, those shoulders and even a little bit of the legs. My palms are going to face 
forward. So what I'm going to do is actually start here with the arms out wide. And every time I pull them in to shoulder level, I'm going to take a seat into a squat and then come back up and hold it there. If ever you need to release it, you'll just come back down and come again. That's an iron cross. So that said, let's do it. Let's get to starting point. Arms out wide, thumbs up. They don't have to have to be up. All right, here we go. We squat, pull in, and then open. Yes, squat, pull in, and then open. Do you see how I'm, I'm sitting back onto my heels? And I'm not letting my knees go forward at all. For some of you, you're going to certainly want to take that a little bit wider. But true iron cross, let's keep those, those feet together if possible. Let's go for four more. There we go. Three more. Arms at shoulder level. We're not going any higher than the shoulders. Last one. Come up. Oh and relax and take a breath. Just shake it out. For today, we're gonna go right back into those exercises. We're gonna stay bare bones. Take your breath, grab your water right now. If you don't need the breath, if you feel fine, you need to have your weights. Okay, take a breath. Shake it out a little bit. Okay, and we're going back in, all right? Here we go, step to the side a little bit, engage those abdominals, go ahead, raise those arms up, shoulder level, and here we go. We take a seat, and then come up, squeezing the shoulder blades and back feet. My arms are, are, my hands are not clutching onto those weights like crazy. And again, I'm sitting back on those heels. I'm keeping my chest up, I'm not bowing forward at all. Yeah, these should get tired pretty fast. Even with the light weights. I'm trying as hard as I can to keep my arms as straight as possible. Let's do two more. Yeah, last one. Okay, and relax it. Take it down. Relax it out. So you're going to grab a little bit heavier. We're going to go into alternating bicep curls. And yeah, boom, 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 one after the other. Let's get it done. All right? Alternating bicep curls with rotation. So what we're going to do is you're going to keep your knees a little bit soft, okay? Just a little bit, bent, tiny bit. And we're going to rotate. We're going to rotate the palm up as we come up and then rotate it back down. Okay, rotate other arm. Rotating palm up and then rotating as we come down. So let's take a set. Relax those shoulders. Here we go. Big rotations, alternating, other way. So a peeve of mine, and I'll list this one day, I think you might we'll do it, is when you come up, I don't want to see that up, those elbows coming forward a lot. I want them locked in place. See how mine is locked in place right now? I'll show you what tends to happen with people that tend to do something like this. Mm, that's a different move, all right? I want to isolate the bicep, okay? The biceps region, okay? That whole, both, all those muscle fibers, I want, I want to isolate them, so I don't want to add in the shoulder or anything else that happens when you start to raise that elbow up. I also want that wrist to stay really still. I don't want them falling or bending or curling in strange ways. Curling forward or falling back. And my knees are bent because I don't want to lock out the joints. See, I just keep going, don't I? I just keep going. I could have gone out here, right? Right? If it's getting too easy, if it goes too long. Oh boy. Let's do one more and then relax it and shake it out a little bit. So it was a long set. We're gonna do a long set again. If you need to rest those hands, please do. I will. Roll them out. And again, have your weight. Have your weight if you can. Okay? Healthy me would go to 15, 15s or 20s. I don't go crazy either. All right, ready? Here we go.
I have seen tons of people take some really hefty, hefty weight. And as long as you have great form and you've been doing it for a while, meaning you didn't just start out and say, oh, I'm going to decide to grab a 30 pound dumbbell. And then tomorrow you feel like a truck hit you. Okay, then no problem. That 30 pound dumbbell is fine if you've been doing progressively weights and other weights for a while. But if like me, keep going, if like me, you've got to rebuild again, then these tens or eights or sixes or threes or fives are just fine. They do the job. Let's do four more, three more, and I'm already thinking I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. Two, oh, <laughs> and one. Okay, I'm gonna relax it down, and because of that, I am going to a little bit and go to fives for our next set, the Arnold Press. Normally, you really want to have heavy weight for this. An Arnold Press looks like this. It's the palms facing in, okay? And then you're going to rotate the hand, the palm to face outward. So I'll do it forward, rotate it outward. All right? Just so. So nothing like this happens. All right, so you go ahead and you grab heavier weights if you need to, but I'm gonna relax my arms a little bit just for this first set and use my fives. Go ahead, bend into those knees just a little bit. You can even take a wider stance, okay? And here we go. Inhaling down and exhaling up. Yes, real easy to turn those wrists back. I definitely don't want you to do that. And what I mean by that is they'll end up falling. Ah, <laughs> so try not to do that. We want a nice rotation. This is working the biceps as well as the shoulders and the back. Not kinking through the neck. Yeah, and I don't want to do too many, even though I feel like I can. Because I've got lighter weight, but you might not. Let's just do two more and one more. Okay, and then relax it always safely descending down. All right, relax it out. We're gonna go right back into it and then you're gonna want that heavier weight. Okay, whatever that might be for you. So I'm gonna shake it out. I'm gonna open them up a little bit. Open up that chest. Oh, relax out the neck and then let's get right back into it. All right, make sure this is tough. Make sure it's tough. Let's start with those palms facing in. And all right, press. And I keep stepping back because I can see my dumbbell going out of picture. There we go. Do you notice how my elbows are forward? I'm not keeping them out. I'm not keeping them outside at all like this. Okay, that will get right into the shoulder in a bad way. So we don't want that. There we go. Yeah, definitely, definitely heavier for me here. I don't know about you, but I really hope you're feeling it. Let's just do four more. Here's four. Last three. Good, and last two, and one more here. One, okay, and we're our palms in, and let them descend with control. All right, good, perfect. All right, shake them out a little bit. We're going into a lunge combo. We're gonna just relax the arms a little bit. Do a forward lunge with abduction. Abduction means you're, uh, you're using your abductors or your outer thighs and then do a leg lift to the side. So let's go ahead and add weights to that. All right, starting with either leg, doesn't matter which. We'll just switch anyway. So I'm holding on to my 10 pound dumbbells. Okay, here we go. We're gonna lunge forward, pressing back, and then lifting with abduction. Go ahead and lunge forward. Oh, see if there's a way that maybe you don't touch down. We'll use the same leg for now. Yep, that was three. Let's try to go to eight. Ooh, and I needed to touch down, but that's okay. That's all right. That's all right if I need to find my balance. All right, let's go for four more. There we go, I caught myself. 
maybe you are too. Yes. Right here, I'm not looking at that. Do you know what I mean? Let's do one more and I'll show you. This, this thing. That's all I can my eye touch. So let's not do that. No back with it. All right. Here we go. All the leg. All right. Forward lunge. Step back. Abduct. So keeping that core super duper tight, but being able to breathe through it. Tight eating control. Okay? So I don't mean lock it and, uh, and lock out any, any breath that you might be able to get through it. You see me wobbling a little bit. Nobody's, nobody's really perfect at it. I've touched my toe down. So it's okay if you if you need that. Don't, don't try so hard that you're falling all over the place or getting discouraged. For some of you it might be it might be simple, but for others it might not be. Alright, let's do one more. Okay, and relax it out. Go ahead and put those weights down. Just release those hands a little bit. Shake it out a little bit. Shake out those legs. So you can certainly go heavier if you want to, or keep the same weight or go lighter. Here we go, trying for a roundabout set of eight, uh, eight reps on each side. Ready? Here we go. Good lunge, balance, and lift. You don't have to go fast. Ah, that doesn't do any good right now, right? You've got to wait. So momentum next time. This time, we'll focus on strength and getting, firing up all those muscles so they can coordinate with each other. Let's do two more. And last one here. Yes, okay. Take a breath. And let's get to the other side. Forward lunge and abduction. And my toe is straight forward, knees straight forward, going straight out to the side. My toe isn't going up in a weird way. Notice how I'm not even, I'm not even my waistline. I'm not catching up with it, unless I'm losing balance. But if I do it right, if I really concentrate, my torso staying still, I'm just holding on to those weights for some extra added resistance. And letting the legs do the work. One more. Yes. <sighs> okay. All right, relax. Take a breath and shake it out. This is not for everyone. So I'm gonna give you an option first, and then we'll go to the skier swings. Light weights. Light weights if you're not doing skier swings. And if you're not, palms down, all right, and anterior raises. Just raising up to shoulder level, and then back down. Raising up to shoulder level, and then back down with control. All right, a little bit heavier if you can get the momentum with the swings. Here's a swing. Here's a skier swing. We'll go back and up and intermediate. Okay, maybe even beginner if you're using light weights or no weights. All right to shoulder level. Notice how I'm squatting back a little bit, sitting back on the heels, and I'm thrusting my hips a little bit forward. Okay, to pick that weight up. Certainly, if you've done this and you're advanced, you can go all the way up. You've got to be able to control the weights, though. You've got to be able to control the weights. This is not a good exercise for, for beginners or somebody just starting out. Okay? So I gave you an option. So you might be doing those anterior raises. You might be stopping at shoulder level. So you're certainly using momentum. This is not a lift. This is a swing. Yes, do two more. And last one. Oh, I'm going to really control it down. All right. So relax. Shake it out a little bit. All right. Second set, last set. Here we go, starting back. 
enough memory. We stop it up at shoulder level if we need to, or even lower maybe, but you need that swing and push with the hips. And I'm gonna go up. So, yes. Did you see that? I slowed down a little bit. So you don't need to follow me. We're not counting. We're doing this more in terms of time, fatigue. Yeah, there we go. Let's just do a few more here. Really sitting back on those heels. Last one, hold it up. Oh, and then go ahead and slowly lower it down. Nice and controlled. All right, shake it out a little bit. Let's take that breath. Let's take that breath. Okay, on these next ones, I'm going to do a little bit of an option as well. I'm going to go ahead and grab light weights. Light weights only for this one. This adds a little bit of a twist. These are like swings too, but they're with rotation. We not the coordinators. So let's let's focus on what um, what a uh, person starting out or someone that's not comfortable with rotations can do. So bend your elbows just a little bit. We're going into lateral raises. So we're just going to go out to the side and then down and out to the side. Yes, and then down again. All right. Okay, so those are lateral races. There's an option. Spell casters. Bend in the knees a little bit. Uh, both hands, the palms are facing each other, and I've rotated to the side. Not crazy rotation. My arm is just across. My, my hips are still forward. I'm not totally rotated. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, we want to be real safe. And what we're going to do is we're just going to swing out to one side and up. Down and over and then around and up, okay? Or over and up, over and up, over and up. My palms are facing each other the whole time. All right, remember you're doing those lateral raises. If these are, uh, these are not in your repertoire quite yet. Let's do three more. A lot of you will feel your waistline. Let's do one more. And then we're going to relax it. Oh, shake it out a little bit. Shake out those arms. You can put those dumbbells down if you like. And now hold on to mine. Catch my breath. And we'll go right back into them on the other side. All right. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go ahead. Palms facing each other. Ready? Rotate up and then over. Up and then over. My chest is totally forward. It's hardly moving. It's hardly moving. If I start to move it, I get dangerous with those rotations. So let's not, let's not get dangerous. Let's be smart. Let's feel good. Oldies feel great on that waistline and those shoulders and those arms. Even those forearms should feel it. Up, three, last two. Oh, good, and one, and relax it. Oh, shake it out a little bit. Great, awesome, awesome, awesome. I already feel my muscles popping. Are yours? I hope they are. <laughs> it's always great when that happens. Let's release the hand a little bit. Let's grab some water. All right, so we've got our set again. We've got two on each side. Spell casters or lateral raises. All right, and stop at the shoulder for those lateral raises, no higher. All right, here we go. Palms facing and swing, swing up. Don't let those don't let those hands go wonky. Keep the palms facing each other. Let's go for four more. Four, three. Two, yeah, that's right. And one, and relax it. Okay, shake it out a little bit. What was that? This this washing machine dance or something like that? This this reminds me. I just saw it. I just I just realized that as I'm doing it with you. All right, ready? Here we go. We're doing that washer dance. There we go. 
Is that the right thing? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. There we go. Yes, here's four more. Good, three. We don't have to do long sets of these. Last one, and relax. Ah, oh, good, okay. Yeah, I know, I kicked out my legs even though my arms felt it. <laughs> it happens, I like, I like shaking the whole body out. Shake them all out. We're gonna go a little heavier now. We're gonna go to deadlifts. Now part of me really wants to grab at least my 15s. So if you're nice and healthy, go ahead and do it. Grab, grab heavier. If you are working, working through me, let's grab our 10s and see what happens. If you're beginning, then even lighter than that, maybe even eights, maybe nothing at all. All right, a dead lift. So let's keep our knees just slightly better for this one. We're not feet together, all right? And we're going to just hinge from the hip, coming down and then coming back up. Do you see how I'm not rounding down? I see that a lot. You know why that happens often? We're gonna keep this going, walk and talk. Why that happens is, is those hamstrings are so tight, you can't, can't come forward. It's, they're so tight. So even if you're right here, and you stop it there, it's better, it's better. You guys tease those hamstrings and get them a little bit more open. Then rounding the spine, and you're weakening your back, you're exposing a weak part of your back, okay? When we do that, you're, you're relying on certain discs in your back to hold you up, and that's, that, that, that won't help. We want the full back too, so we want to incorporate everything. So if you've got, if those you know, hamstrings are holding you back, well, you want to just work on that, work on lengthening them a little bit. Maybe it could be the back, it could be back tightness, but often, often it's, it's those hamstrings. Yeah, there we go. Good, let's go for four more. Yes, three more, and I'm gradually coming more forward. Two, working the back of the legs, okay, all the way through. Okay, and relax it out, take a breath. And again, have your weight if you need to. We'll see, right? We'll see. Whatever you can do, as long as you're working. Ready? Okay. Forward, and did I do that? I think I can't remember if I did. I want you to come up all the way when you come up. I don't want you to stop halfway, so some people will come up with to here and they'll stop. Uh, let's go, let's come up all the way to standing and squeeze and maybe push a little bit of those hips forward. Not exaggerated, but just a little bit so that I know that you're coming up all the way to standing. Firing up the back of those legs. There are so many options and I wish I could go through them all with you, but today let's just focus on this one. Bending my knees a little bit. Um, you can bend them a little bit more uh, if those hamstrings are really tight. There we go, let's do a couple more here. And one more, arms are dead. Arms are, are dead weight. Huh. And relax. Take a breath for a second. All right, we're gonna play with those a little bit. We are going to do a single leg dead lift with a pull, with a row, with a high row, okay? And it's bent over. So let's try this. I'm gonna use light weight because of the row, not because of my legs. You've been doing high rows for a while, go ahead, heavier than that. So I'm gonna take one leg back, it doesn't matter which one. Control my, my abdominals, tighten my core, make sure I'm not arching my back in a crazy way, and I'm gonna come forward, all right? If you can, if you can, Lift the back leg up, flexing those feet and turning those toes under. Fantastic. Go ahead and do it. If not, keep that toe down. Right? See how my back is straight? There's no arching, there's no rounding. All right. Okay, my arms are forward so that I come in line with my shoulder and I'm gonna pull. All right? I'm gonna pull. Look at that. 90 degrees with the arms. This is certainly more of a more of an intermediate workout than it is beginners. 
all right? Intermediate to even advanced. So make sure you're listening to your body and what it needs. See how those legs are killing you now? If so, then we're gonna come back and put those, um, those feet together. You might still be with that leg up. One more. Oh, and relax and shake it out. Just do one set. One set of those because we're doing technically two on those high rows. So shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out so it doesn't get a cramp. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, and we're gonna go to the other side. The other leg is gonna be up. And you can certainly keep both feet down, all right? Okay, I'm gonna turn to this side. Engage my core. Take the other leg back. And I'm gonna have to come forward with my torso. Hands are right at my shoulder level. All right, right at shoulder level, right at shoulder level, and then do that. Lift that leg behind me. There, I want more challenge. A nice, stable hold. There, I'm turning my toe down, working that back, and I need to, if I need to ever put it down, I will. I can. Let's do two more. Two and one. Oh, okay. Oh, relax. Shake it out. Okay. Put that weight down. And let's just go ahead and give some, you know, little hamstring hits, kicks to loosen up that back. All right. We are going to go down. We're going to slow down a little bit. We've got a set of four exercises and we're done. We already did eight. Amazing. Let's go down to the bench or to the floor. Okay, we've made it to the floor or the bench. It doesn't matter which. The bench is convenient for me right now. But if you're on the floor, same thing. Same thing. So we're going to start with a seated uh, pull down. So you can sit in a chair if you like. You can sit on your knees or uh, whatever you like. Okay, doesn't matter. As long as your torso is up, nice and tall. All right, I'm going to take my 10 pound uh, dumbbell. You can certainly go heavier. And I'm gonna pull my uh, elbows right underneath my shoulders. I'm holding on to the ends of the dumbbell and I'm gonna raise my arm up overhead. You see, you see how my arms are at 90 degrees here? All right, 90 degrees. And I'm going to clear it, it's like right at my head. I'm going to clear it down and keep the 90 degree angle and pull to my stomach. All right? I'm going to do it this way. Overhead. Not arching my spine, not arching it. Oh, I'm fighting, 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 fighting that I don't do that. And I pull back. It's so a little lap pull down. Little lap pull down. I am not moving my torso. And neither should you. Please don't. I know you know looking at myself in this in this video as I as I go through it, oh, there are all kinds of things going on with that look that look so like uneven. But I hope I'm even really. Looks like I am through my own mirror. And we're just pulling down. We're keeping our arms at 90 degrees. And we're working the back. We're, we're in pulling motion since since a lot of what we do is pushing, so I always want to incorporate some kind of pull. Let's do one more. Okay, and relax it, take a breath. And if it's too heavy, just put it, put it down a little bit. So you're working your lats, your back, you might feel your shoulders, you're certainly gonna uh, feel your triceps. You can certainly do this standing as well. So I wanna make sure that there's no excuse for you. <laughs> You've got all the tools you need uh, to do this. All right, get feet together. It's not pressed, I think, I hope. All right. Let's grab that uh, dumbbell set. Elbows are not out, elbows are too far in. Right underneath your hands. All right. Okay. I'm really not going to the side. I keep seeing the light. In this, uh, in this mirror image of me. We're going straight back, as straight back as you can get it. You 
because I'm a little bit type A. I keep wanting to adjust and I'm horrified. But I'm going to let it go. Straight back. Straight back and you're definitely, I hope, keeping that 90 degree angle. If we start to raise those arms or straighten those arms, we're working something different again. So I want to work a little bit of the biceps, the triceps, and that pulling motion down on these lats. Let's do a couple more. Inhaling and exhaling here. And the last one. Oh. Ugh. Okay. Relax. Uh, shake it out a little bit. We're going to lay on down onto your uh, floor, your mat, uh, or your bench. And we're going to go into chest poses. So, uh, have your weight for chest. So I will, I will certainly take my 10 pounds dumbbells, but I might switch over to my fives. All right, so you can have your feet on the floor. All right, here we go. Let's start off. We're going to do, um, we're going to do chest presses with rotation. So let's start, let's start them down, okay? Your, your elbows are hovering above the floor, and we're certainly not, um, uh, not below the, uh, the bench, if you're on a bench, and you're going to press up, and then as, as you're coming up, you're going to rotate and turn your pinkies in, all right? And maybe touch the heads of the, of the dumbbells together, and then we're going to rotate them back down. Okay, rotating palms face you, in, pinkies touch or dumbbells touch, and then rotate palms facing out. Again, press, rotate palms facing in, and then rotate to palms facing out. Here we go. Exhale and inhale. If you can do 10 of these and it's too easy, then you've got to increase the weight. I'm sorry, if it's too easy and you have not been doing, uh, and that you have been doing weights, then you increase it. If you have not been doing weights and it's easy, that's okay, because you're gonna see how you react tomorrow. And then if you don't react badly, then you can start increasing the weight. But if you're sore, that means you're not ready yet. Let's do a couple more, I lost count, but I know we're probably about 10. And that's okay too. Down and then bring it in. Slowly rest it on the hips or on the floor. Relax. So let's make sure we have a whole, uh, a total workout, full body. All right, one more set. Inhaling and exhaling up with that rotation. Inhaling down. And then exhale it up. Be careful. Be really gentle, especially if you've got on your weights. <sighs> Neck is relaxed. I am not going below this bench. And if you're on the floor, your, your elbows are just hitting the floor. They're not going all the way down. Maybe they're not even hitting the floor. Maybe they're just hovering right above. Let's just do three more, wherever we are. Oh, my chest is feeling it. Wait a minute. Last one, and I'm going to want to come up. So if you do two, you can rest your uh, weights on the chest, lift up those legs, and let them help you up. Okay, so we're going to go into two more exercises, and we are through. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my five pound dumbbells because my arms are starting to feel it. So, and I hope yours are too. I'm gonna control myself down. All right, now I like my feet up on the bench. It's okay if yours are down. All right, so an overhead press is different than a French press. A French press for your triceps starts right over your chest. And overhead press, Ooh, our starting point is right over our forehead. Right over our forehead. And what we're going to do is we're just going to bend our elbows down over our head. Palms are going to the dumbbells are going over our head. And then we're going to press. So if you need more support right now, my weights are, are will not touch. If you need more support, Bring those weights together. We can do that too. Uh, we're just going to go down overhead, 
Dumbbells are overhead, and then press up. Dumbbells are overhead, and then press up. For some of you, this is just a secret challenge. For others, no problem at all. Uh, and if it's no problem at all, you'll increase the weight or you'll check your form to make sure you, you are, are doing it correctly. So, you know, for more challenge, a stability challenge, and we're evening out that strength in both arms, we like to separate the weights. So see where you're at with the level. Look in the back of the arms here. Do you notice how my elbows are not moving except the back? And what I mean by that is a lot of people do something like this. They start moving that. Nope. You want to you want to isolate the triceps. You start moving them, and then you're asking your back and your shoulders to help you. You don't, you don't want that. We already work back and shoulders. So we are going to isolate the triceps. Do a couple more. I know. Over top. Over top. Make some progress. I can see that. And relax it. All right. Relax it down. Yeah. Shake it out of your bed. Shake it out of your bed. So, be proud of yourself. We are almost there. I'm proud of me. <laughs> All right. Starting overhead. We inhale down and exhale out. You can always take this to a fresh class. You can always take it to where you are starting over your chest. It's a little bit, it's a little bit less intense. So wherever you are, there are options. Right now, on the menu, the first thing is overhead for us. Okay, you're getting tired, but you want to keep going. Try to use those uh, dumbbells together. Three lines together. All right, let's do four more. Just two, and final one here, not locking out the elbows, oh, oh boy, and then I'm going to come on up, reach at the chest, safety first always, okay, so, going into sit-ups, regular old sit-ups, you do not need the weight, alright, so, let's come on down, Let's do it without holding it to our chest. Let's uh, put the weight overhead. I'm sorry, put your feet on the floor and drop the bench. Feet on the floor. Make sure your back isn't arching crazy. All right, and I'm going to push the weight up towards the ceiling. Push the weight up towards the ceiling. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice sit up. Now I am relaxing my legs to the ground. Totally relaxing down. And again, keep going, keep going. If you don't want that weight, don't use it. If your arms are tired, lower your hands. No excuses, no excuses. If your arms are tired and you want a little bit more challenge, oh boy, oh boy, that was a surprise, oh yeah. Oh yeah, keeping those uh, elbows wide. Yes, oh, all right. And if you want that weight, we have to keep going. We're gonna hold it to the chest. Ooh, you know, holding it to your chest makes it so hard. Ooh, yes, it makes it so challenging. Yeah, there we go. Just holding it close to my chest. It's totally tough. Let's do four more. Trying to control it. Oh, the knees get a look. First setups, for sure. Last one. Oh. <sighs> Take a breath. We gotta do it one more time. In my head, I'm going over things. I cannot believe. I cannot believe <laughs> that I'm struggling to get off. But you know what? How else are we going to work on it? So you're working on it, and I'm working on it. All right, we're going to go again. Mine are tired now, Airbors. We're going to go again. <laughs> okay, weights, no weights, all those other options. Let's 
Let's do it. All right. Okay. Control, 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 control. Control. Okay. Inhale. Then exhale. My bed and I know you're my, my bench. My bones go up and down. That's because I'm cheating a little bit. Oh, okay. I'm cheating a little bit. Oh. I'm getting some help on my bench. Inhale and exhale. And I'm really trying not to. But that's what's happening. And I'm trying to relax my, my neck. I'm trying not to boost my neck because it's another pet peeve of mine. We're trying to do the best we can. Let's do a couple more. Last one. Oh, goodness. Oh, boy, am I happy that's done. <laughs> boy, am I happy that's done. Are you too? <laughs> let's shake it out a little bit and let's just stretch out those hands, those, those arms. <sighs> Whatever else we can do, we can just chill out a little bit here. Go ahead and take one arm across. All right, and we're gonna take the other hand right underneath, forearm, and pull. The easy one, everybody does this nice shoulder stretch because it's so simple and nice and feels good, and just relax it out. So we will too. All right, let's take it to the other side. I cannot even begin to tell you how sore I may be tomorrow. I hope not. But I tried, we tried. I went lighter, and I hope you did too. Or if you're really at it, and you are even busting a move with those weights, I hope you, you, you cut the challenge off. All right, relax it out. Okay, and let's go ahead and just lean that neck to one side. Sorry. Your head to one side. Uh, relax out the jaw, ear to the shoulder, but not the shoulder to the ear, ear to the shoulder. And then go ahead and roll that head forward and then just take it to the other side. Relaxing out the jaw. Ear to the shoulder, not shoulder to the ear. No shoulder shrugs, no shoulder shrugs on the stretch. <laughs> Go ahead and take that ankle uh, on top of one knee, doesn't matter which, and I'm just gonna lean forward. And you feel this stretch uh, on the hip of the knee that's bent. I'm seated right now, you can do these, um, I'm sorry, you can do them on the floor. So you can certainly hold that uh, foot in, and then come over towards that, uh, that other leg. And then stretch both your hip and your hamstring. There we go. Chest up nice and tall. And then go ahead and relax it. And then take it to the other side. When that ankle go up. I like to press it down just a little bit. It gives me more of a stretch. Or how you manipulate it to where you feel it best in that hip. And then if you're stretching with your foot in towards, uh, uh, towards your body and your leg out straight, just go ahead and try to keep that chest up nice and tall like we're doing now. We're not trying to round. Keep that chest up nice and tall. And our next stretches will be standing. So. I'm gonna get you up off the floor. You're on the floor. Sorry. Okay. Kind of relax it. And then come on. Alright. Let's take uh, one leg and then go ahead and put that foot in the hand behind you. Um, tuck your hips a bit. Try to keep those knees. Uh, together in line with each other, relax out that shoulder. And nice stretch in the top of the thigh. And then relax it and then take it to the other side. Just balance. You can certainly hold on to something if you need to. Make sure that leg isn't going out too much. It'll, it'll 
probably be tight enough where it's going out and maybe you don't have uh, some great flexibility there. Either way, we're stretching the top of the thigh, trying to open up the shoulder just nicely. Push those hips forward, lift those abdominals if you can. And you always keep that breath going. Yes, good. All right, take those legs out wide, as wide as you can get them. And we're going to just shift over to one side and stretch out that inner thigh. We'll certainly we'll get one more stretch in for those arms. Then the middle of the thigh, not on the knee. And then take it to the other side, stretching that inner thigh. Both sets of toes forward, eyes up, head up. And then come back to center, walk those feet in. There we go. And then one arm up, let it drop, and let's stretch out that tricep. Try to keep the head up nice and tall, and try not to arch the spine. Tuck those hips. None of that. And relax it, shake it out for a second, and then take it to the other side. and take those arms behind you. Okay, clasp your hands together and then open up the chest as much as you can. Open up, open up, press those hands back. Relax out the, um, uh, the head, the neck. There. Okay, we made it! <laughs> All right. Give yourself a big hug and clap. Uh, go grab some more water and enjoy the rest of the day. You made it through a tough workout. Great job.